You're a donut. You're so stupid. You're so stupid. You're stupid. Dumb. What's good, my little community? Welcome back to another lovely, beautiful, sexy, amazing video with the equally lovely, equally beautiful, equally sexy, and equally amazing lit tire. And you know what time it is. Now, let's go. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Now, guys, it looks like it's another day, another load of F3 in the UK. And this time, it's with Mr. Bonkers himself, Dizzy Rascal. Bonkers. And let me tell you, after all I'm hearing about him giving the Michael Jackson beats to his former partner, he's definitely gone bonkers. Some people Sorry, Dizzy, I can't support that statement anymore. You have gone crazy. And we're going to break this down in way more detail. But you already know what you got to do. You just got to like, comment, subscribe to keep up to date. Every time I drop a banger like this one. And hit that notey, because you ain't a nitty. So you can be the first to know when one of these videos comes out. And without further ado... Let's get straight into it. Now, if you didn't already know, Dizzy Rascal, whose real name is Dylan Quabina Mills, has actually been found guilty of assaulting his former partner. Well, what's the reason? Reason? Now, the story seems to go like this. And let me just clarify, this is all alleged. Apparently, Dizzy Rascal attacked the woman, whose name is Cassandra Jones, at a property in Streatham in southwest London. He barged his way into the house, apparently with his son in his arms while he was doing this, on some pursuit of happiness type of vibe. But it was more like a pursuit of pain as he was screaming and shouting and even banging his head on the fridge three times. Bonkers. Maybe this guy is bonkers. <laughs> that sounds bonkers, I can't lie to you. Bonkers. He then put his forehead against hers and pushed her around the room and then pushed her to the ground. The report also states that Mrs. Jones began filming him, but then he took her phone from her and then took the phone from her mother, Dawn Kirk, who was also there. Then all the shouting and screaming between the two parties became so loud that it alerted two of their neighbours and then the neighbours obviously called the police. When they arrived, Mills said that I'm the aggressor, but later gave a prepared statement in a police interview denying the allegations and claiming that he was the one that had actually been assaulted by Miss Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the judge of the case seems to have concluded that Dizzy Rascal did this because him and his partner were arguing over child contact and finances so I'm guessing it was about how much child support he needed to pay and how many times a week he could see the kid maybe she was trying to stop him from seeing the kid full stop Man. Fuck them kids, bro. And she concluded that Dizzy Rascal had a, indeed assaulted the woman and that he was abusive and aggressive. She's basically saying this guy's Dizzy and he's a rascal. You're a donut. But wow, some crazy allegations there. And I think what makes this situation even crazier is that once this verdict was passed in court, Dizzy Rascal took a camera from a press association photographer outside the court and threw it into the road and smashed it. So he basically spent the whole day trying to prove that he wasn't aggressive and abusive to then, once that ship had officially sailed, he said, yeah, F it. You want to see aggressive and abusive? I'm going to show you aggressive and abusive. And he took all of that energy out on that poor, poor camera. RIP that camera. Personally, I think this is a very crazy situation. Of course, we don't know the full extent of what was going on. On. We don't know if she was trying to stop Dizzy from seeing his kids or if she was, you know, making him pay crazy amounts of child support. Man, fuck them kids, bro. Or we don't know what pushed him over the edge. But at the same time, I personally don't think there's any excuse for you putting your hands on a woman. Look at me getting my social, social justice warrior vibe in. <laughs> but no, I, I always think it's best for you to just walk away in those situations where a girl is acting crazy or trying to push your buttons or, or stuff like that. Because it's not going to end well for you either way. But if you are one of those people that kind of likes confrontation and you do want to be there, you know, and your girl's acting all crazy, at least whip out your phone and record the whole thing and have that as evidence that, you know, you didn't, put your hands on her that it was just a verbal argument and there was just a load of verbal diarrhea going back and forth between you two but you know just so she can't say that you beat her up in the future but based on how dizzy messed up that camera you know he probably did do it <laughs> i can't even lie to you allegedly of course but in the words of anyone it's a bit of a sticky one still but let me know if you think about this in the comments section down below do you think that dizzy rascal did indeed give the michael jackson beats to his former partner or do you think that this is all a bunch of caperoni on her part you let me know in the comments section down below don't forget to like comment subscribe you're on the road to 800 subs you already know what time it is you can follow my personal ig at the only lit tnt if you care about what i do i'm not making these bangers for you
I post updates on Twitter as well, so you might as well follow me on there, because what else are you doing with your life? Absolutely nothing, mate. Stay black, and if you're not black, stay whatever race you are. I just want to let it be known that Lit Tie ENT does not condone any form of violence towards women of any degree. Just got to get my little social justice warrior disclaimer in there. All right, bet. Peace. Well, you ain't know I can sing. <laughs>